Hi Pisces, welcome to September. This is Teresa from Tara by T. And before I do your reading, I want to call in some good energy and create some sacred space. We have a full moon in your sign this month on August 13th, 14th, depending on where you live. <clears throat> the evening of the 13th or the early morning of the 14th, if you're on the East Coast. And then we have a full moon in Libra. I mean a new moon in Libra on the 28th. So, and Saturn goes direct on the 18th, and then we move into solstice. So let's see what the cards have to say about love and relationships for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about love and relationships? What does Pisces need to know about love and relationship for 2019? September. What does Pisces need to know about love and relationships for 2019? September 2019. The Hangman. The Ace of Swords. The Devil, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Justice card, the Three of Swords, the World, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so you start the month out with the hangman. This is a card where you feel like everything is in limbo uh, and not moving. And you're really anxious to take action because you have the ace of swords here. Your warrior spirit has been activated. You're wanting to take action. And the hangman can sometimes mean giving something up for something better, making a sacrifice, leaving something behind but you really, it's not a no-brainer. Like, a part of you doesn't want to leave it behind, but you know that you're moving on to something better. And you've been activated with the Ace of Swords. You have a new way of thinking about this relationship. And um, you're ready to fight for what you want, for what, for what you believe in. In the past, you had the devil. So you could have been involved in a relationship where you felt overwhelmed it could have been there could have been a lot of passion in this relationship almost has an had an addictive quality where you had like like someone had a hold on you in some way and you just couldn't break away you felt like they were like overpowering you in some way or you're losing yourself in the relationship and the five of wands here Maybe there was a lot of petty, petty arguments. Two people that were just not seeing eye to eye, just arguing over every little detail. Uh, maybe someone was just being petty. And you find, you may have found yourself constantly fighting. And that was wearing you out. Because you come to the Ten of Swords here where you're feeling, I'm done. I just can't do this anymore. I can't keep fighting this battle. I have to be release myself. Um, so with the Ten of Swords, it's it's telling you, go no more. Don't put any more energy toward this thing because it's like a you know you just can't you can't do it anymore. It's not fair. You have justice coming up here. You've been treated unfairly, and there might even be some legal issues surrounding this ending. There might be some relationship that might be ending for some of you because you've decided that you just can't, you can't take it anymore. You just need something else. You need something better, more fulfilling. And you're tired of the fighting. And with the justice card, there will be a fair outcome. Justice will be done. This could be a karmic situation too. So maybe you're finishing up a karmic cycle that you've had to with someone 
And so everything that you're going through, the, the good thing about the Ten of Swords is the worst is over. And you can only go up from here. If you look at this card, there's a sunrise. You know, the night is over and the sun is starting to come up. So whatever you've been through, it's coming to an end. Your suffering and your struggles are coming to an end. And with the Justice card, justice will be done. So if you think someone's getting away with something, they're not. The Three of Swords is here, so there could be a, you're severing whatever's no longer working in your life, and it could be relationship. And there's some sorrow connected with this. Um, the Three of Swords sometimes can mean a minor operation, so it could be that someone you love is going through having surgery. But the positive thing is you have the world here. And the world talks about the ending of a cycle. Some, something that's been taking a lot of your time and energy is coming to an end. But it's also freeing you um, so that you can t move your life to the next level. You can take, like everything is going to start coming together. After this ending, there'll be a karmic reward. And you'll be filled with new energy. Because you have the Ace of Swords here. This is like en the energy, the, the, war, the fighting spirit. You're going to see things in a new way. And it's going to you kind of raise up. It's like the phoenix coming out of the ashes. And the world card is everything starting to come together. Which you couldn't have reached this world if you hadn't gone through this struggle. And you have this King of Swords in your Wish Fulfillment sector. So you could be dealing with an air sign. That could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there could be someone that's coming in the future that you might be connected with. This could also sometimes be legal situation, a lawyer, dealing with lawyers. So if a marriage is ending, there could be some le like legal... Um, things to tie up, to resolve, but there will be a favorable outcome. So don't worry if you're worried about losing financially or losing support. Um, things will be decided fairly. And this could be a judge or a lawyer. Whoever you're dealing with, you're going to have completion in September. And everything is going to work out in your favor or at least in a fair way, and you'll be free. This this world card, this person is free. Things have ended, things have resolved, and now she is free to go wherever she wants to be. She There's a sense of lightness and freedom coming after this struggle. And you won't have to put, you know, you won't be dealing with that negative energy anymore. It'll be gone, it'll be over. And you have the Queen of Cups in your future. So this could be you. Feeling intuitive about the future. Feeling, I mean, the Queen of Cups is very compassionate, very sensitive. So you want to be careful, though, if you're going through a difficult time, not to escape into drinking or drugs or anything like that. If you're feeling any kind of pain, that's the only warning I want to give you. Because sometimes the cups can do that. They can escape. They want to escape their pain and they want to get and they get involved in things that take them out of reality. You know, drugs, drinking, any kind of obsession, any kind of an addiction. But the, so but you have to tap into your gift, which is your intuition and your compassion. That's the gift of the Queen of Cups. She just knows things. And when she follows her intuition, it doesn't steer her wrong. It'll take you where you need to go. And don't lose your sense of compassion. You know, maybe you were involved with someone who took advantage of your kind heart and your compassionate nature. But that's going to be ending. That's over. And now you can give yourself to someone who's worthy of you. So, if you've been struggling with something, wondering when is this going to end, 
I feel like I'm just stuck, know that the end is coming soon. And then you can have a brand new beginning. And you're going to be energized by this ending because you're going to feel empowered. So let's see what um, the, the astrology has to say about what's going on. So, so your full moon in Pisces, it's coming across your relationship sector. So that it's possible that a relationship comes to an end during this time or completion. You resolve something. So if you've been fighting with someone on a legal issue, that's going to end too. Um, you're feeling very intuitive about this. And your partner might be very aggressive because I'm seeing the sun with Mars. So you might be dealing with someone who's angry, who's got a lot of anger issues. Um, someone who could be a charmer. They know how to communicate. They're very charming. They know how to sway people. But you're seeing the truth because the full moon always shines a light of truth wherever it touches. And it's touching your relationship houses where you have to, you know, balance your needs against the needs of someone else who could be a little bit belligerent. And you have Jupiter in the 10th house. So there's career issues thrown in the mix too. Um... You're worried about your status in the community, what people are going to think. Um, don't, because things are changing. Um, whatever's coming to an end, it's freeing you up to become who you, more of who you are. Um, you have Saturn and Pluto going through the 11th house, and they're supporting this change, this full moon. So you have people around you, you have friends, you have groups that you belong to, they're there to support you. And they're going to help you through this transformation. You're kind of transforming. Um, your goals and your wishes, the, your dreams are changing. And you're really going through, like with Saturn in the 11th, you're evaluating your friendships. To decide, you know, who do I keep? Who's my true friend? Who do I keep? Who do I let go of? Um, because certain truths will come out and you'll know. The new moon in Libra is coming in your 8th house. So the 8th house is the house of transformation. It's the house of... Um, other people's money, resources, financial support that you get from someone else, like a partner or a bank or an insurance payout. So you could be getting some money coming in as a result of a settlement or insurance payout. There could be some irritating uh, surprises coming from the, your third house, because Uranus is in the third house, and that rules relatives, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles. Um, people that you're related to, you know, your um, immediate family. They could have some surprises up their sleeve that would make take away from some of this these new beginnings. It would just an annoyance. You have Chiron in the second house opposing this new moon, so there is something that you have to heal around money and self worth. You have some issues that need healing around these. Um, you know, because a part of you may feel like I'm not worthy to receive. I, I'm not worthy to, to of love or I'm not worthy to receive money. So you have to heal those issues. Venus is in the 8th house, so it's definitely bringing abundance. When Venus comes into the 8th house, it brings financial support. And Venus is sextile Jupiter in your 10th house. So this gives me, a, it's a lucky time for career. It's also a lucky time uh, it's a time of where you're feeling like you can expand your horizons. So it could be that money comes in and it allows you to do things that you couldn't do before without this support, this financial support. Um, Neptune's in your first house. So you're you're being you're you're really um, wanting to follow a spiritual path. 
you have a lot of compassion. You may want to help out people that are less fortunate. But a lot of, um, you're really going to be reevaluating the groups that you belong to and the friends you have. And you might make some changes. Because some, some friendships might end, others you might, might begin. But I feel like this new moon is going to be positive for you. It's going to transform your life in some way. Through some type of financial assistance and abundance that's coming. So the worst is over in September. The worst, you know, something is coming to an end. Um, some legal situation or some kind of settlement. Uh, maybe a relationship issue is finally gets re resolved and money comes into you and it gives you a sense of freedom that you can take it and you know create a new life with this financial support and it could even be a new relationship that brings greater intimacy into your life but you have to clean up this uh, you have to get past this struggle first but it's ending. You're, you're very close to the end. So don't worry. Just hang in there a little longer. And you'll see by the end of the month, things will be a lot better. You'll have a lot of this put behind you. And um, your life will start moving forward again. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. And um, if you'd like to get a private reading, just click on the link in the description box. We can get you on the schedule and we can work together. And um, I also want to say thank you for those who have, for supporting my channel, for liking and subscribing and um, sharing and commenting, taking the time out to comment from your busy schedule. I know everyone's busy. It's hard to always comment. But I do appreciate the comments and I read them all. And if you're new, welcome. And... Um, I hope you've enjoyed these readings. I hope you're enjoying the videos and you continue into the future. So um, don't worry, Pisces. You're, end you're putting the past behind you. You're ending a, a cycle that has given you a lot of grief and you're going to be moving into a... You're going to feel a new sense of freedom by the end of the month. So I hope you enjoy September and you'll come out of it. You're going to come out of it okay and on top. So have a blessed September, and I will talk to you again next month. Okay, bye now.